Hey guys, so to uh, today we're gonna try to make a, a knife out of a lawnmower blade. I did a little research and I'm kind of, I don't really know how good of a blade a lawnmower blade will make for, you know, steel wise for a knife. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make one out of this lawnmower blade and uh, put it through the paces and see how good it will actually hold up. Um, this is gonna kind of be a first for me. I, I do make some knives, but I, I don't really forge a whole lot. Um, I do mostly sock removal and use steel that, you know, I kind of know how to temper and what needs to be done with it. So for me, this is going to be a kind of a new thing. And the knives that I make are usually small. And you can see this is going to make a pretty good size knife, even if we just use half of it. So, uh, so what we're going to do is I cut a little piece off of this blade. And I'm going to go ahead and heat it up and do a snap test. I don't really know grain that well. I just know if I heat it up and I quench it and it snaps, I know it got hard. So I'm just gonna go with that and just see kind of maybe how hard this gets and then we'll go from there. Um, okay, so it didn't really break, but it was pretty tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in and we'll try it in water and see how hard it gets. Well, it broke. Um, I don't really know grain that well, but from what I've seen, pictures of it, it's pretty tight. Can you see? All right, well, let's make a knife. Into the fire you go. And now we wait. and then do like a finger. Try to do like a finger well. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. More than two fingers. That's what we're going to shoot for. I ain't no master at this, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Hey guys, so I'm going to, um, uh, measure and kind of make a couple marks so I can make sure I don't make my handle too big for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to make a mark at five inches from the end of the anvil and six inches. I don't want my handle to exceed six inches. Usually when I make a knife they're between four and five. This is going to be a bigger knife. We'll make the handle a little bit bigger. guys we're back from lunch and uh the it's cooled down pretty good looks good so we're gonna go to uh, the grinder and start uh you know uh 
refining the shape a little bit. So that's what we're doing now. Chopper dopper. All right, so we had it, uh, we, we got the initial bevel ground in, both sides drill the pinholes. We're gonna go ahead and heat it up and quench it. We're probably gonna quench it in water because that's what we got the best results earlier, but we'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers so we don't have no breakage or warpage, but here we go. All right, so this is what it looks like, ground. We got the holes drilled in it. It's pretty much ready. I'm going to put it in the, it did get pretty hard. So I'm going to put it in the oven and um, probably, you know, draw it back a little bit and just see what it does. I'm just still kind of experimenting with it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll all probably be impressed with how it, or, how it, uh, how it uh, functions or operates or how, whatever you want to call it. But I'm pretty sure it'll do the job. So uh, that's next. Um, we, uh, we got the knife finished. See it? Pretty good. Turned out pretty good. Uh, black canvas, micarta handle scales, um, brass pins, uh, you know, epoxy to do the handles together. Took, took a day or so, you know, 24 hour cure on the epoxy. But I mean, it turned out really well. It actually holds a pretty good edge. Um, it's pretty sharp. As you can see, it, it's not... It took, I mean, surprisingly, it took a really good edge. I mean, it's not, it could be sharper, but it's a heavy, it's a heavy knife, so. But we're going to set up a chop test for it. I froze a big block of ice. We'll hack the ice. Um, have some nylon straps we'll cut. I'll try to cut and, um, you know, split some wood, cut some wood, and see how it does. And we'll, uh, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the steel when we're done. So, here we go. Okay, so we have this um, block of ice that I uh, froze up the other night. Pretty good size. We're gonna hack it at a couple, you know, four or five times, and then have some wood here. We'll chop, and um, we'll examine the blade. And then when we're done examining the blade, we'll go over here, and I have this four-inch nylon strap kind of tensioned a little bit, and we'll go ahead and uh, try to cut it, and we'll see how the steel holds up. But so that's what we're gonna do. Well, here we go, guys. I'm gonna put my uh, glasses on, but we're gonna give her a hack here. We did some pretty good damage. And that sucker is still holding a good edge from what I can see. Um, let's go over here and see if we can cut this strap. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Come over here. Fellas, that's a pretty clean cut. Actually, let me see how sharp it is. Let's go get some paper. Oh, I mean, it lost a little edge. Not bad, though. I mean, considering what we just did with it. Yeah, it's not, it's not as sharp as what it was. I mean, it's still fairly sharp, though. I mean, it's still sharp enough. Let's just put it that way. Um, so... Well, that'll be it, and I'm gonna sit down on the bench, and we'll go over it here. You guys can look at the the edge real quick. There ain't a dent, ding, or chip in the edge. It 
So um, we're sitting here at my bench. Excuse my bench, guys. It's a uh, it's a bit messy. I you know holidays are right around the corner, and some people put some orders in for a few knives. So, but uh, anyways, let's talk about this knife. So I am by no means you know a knife expert or a metallurgist or whatever you want to call. But I you know before we did this build, I did a little research on lawnmower blades just to see and everything I was getting was is it wouldn't get hard enough to you know really make a knife. Well, I mean, from what I'm seeing here for what, what we just did with this knife, I would say it would make a fine knife. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna be like some super steel or something along the lines of that. I mean, this is a pretty big knife. I mean, so for chopping, I mean, it's still holding a pretty pretty good edge after what we did. Uh, I mean, you probably just take a couple licks on a stone and it would probably, be, and you know, and strap it, it would probably right back to how sharp it was. So, I mean, it's, it's, it got pretty hard. How hard it got, I have no idea. I mean, so, but I'm going to say that, you know, can a lawnmower blade make a knife? Hell yeah, it can. It made a pretty good knife, I think. So, I mean, it didn't take any damage. Um, so I'm going to go with that. That's my thoughts on it. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, on your guys' own thoughts. Like I said, I'm not no expert by no means, but I would say do it. Do to it. But, uh, so that's going to wrap this, uh, little endeavor up. Uh, and hopefully I'll have something else come for you guys here in the next week or two. And, you know, so, uh, I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.